All right, y'all, in this video, I'm going to show you what to do with your newly created vector file. All you have to do is move the file to the USB drive, insert it in the arc droid, like so, plug it in, and turn your machine on. From there, you'll need to press the home button. This zeroes everything out, lets the arc droid know uh, where the torch head is in 3D space. From there, you're going to press the load button and it'll select the SVG file that you want. When you do this, the arc drive will automatically create the DXF file for it. And since my cut file is too big, I'm going to use the scale setting to shrink it down like so. Select right here. I'm going to do 0.15 for the scale. Enter. It'll generate another DXF. Now once the file loads at the bottom right of the screen, you'll see a button that says R cut, L cut. This will determine whether the arc droid will cut on the inside or the outside of the shape. It can also cut right on the center line if needed. This is the button I'm talking about. You do left cut, center, right cut. Then there's this button. Um, what it does is it will tell the arc droid to cut outermost points of the shape first, followed by the interior or vice versa. This would come in handy if the workpiece you're working on is not supported by anything underneath. For example, if you uh, tell it in out and you have a circle with let's just say triangles in the middle, it'll cut out those triangles first and then it'll cut the outer diameter of the circle and then the whole finished piece will fall to the ground. If you were to tell it outside, then inside, you're just going to cut out the outside of the shape and then you're not going to have anything supporting it. It's just going to fall to the ground. Then you can also tell it to have sort off by default. So there you have it. Stay tuned. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more, and drop a comment if you have any questions. I'll see you all in the next one.